Alright, so today we're going to work on the subframe rack and pinion. As you can tell, you know, this thing is all. I mean, even the bar joint is pretty good for being um, that old. You know what I'm saying? Even the boots are good. Uh, but I got new boots. I'm going to have uh, new auto tie rods. I'm using the same, uh, same deal right here. Uh, I'm gonna use new ones, new bushings, and new low control arms. So, let's take that apart, and then we're gonna start cleaning, cleaning it up. Got the UPS guy up in here. Okay, we got some parts. Okay, okay. So we're gonna start taking it apart, start washing it, doing the thing. Just hey a small bag you got over there, huh? What's that? Small, oh, small bag. Yeah. Small bag you got there, huh? Yeah. Sweet. Well, you got the car coming around. Yeah, yeah, you like that? Yeah, it's sharp. Did you paint that? Yeah, yeah, everything. Man, that's good. Paint it in here. Uh, you know, undercoat it. Did, yeah. the, did the right hand drive firewall. Of course, gonna do all new suspension, everything on right. it. Just got some new trim in it, new moldings, getting new glass. It's gonna be. <laughs> Kind of, towards the end, kind of towards the end with the glass, you know, new suspension, new wheels. Yeah. Like in this box here, if you come over here, this box right here, it's all new suspension that's going in, you know, like trailing arms, bushings. Yeah, oh, that's sharp. This thing's yeah. going Yeah, and then new, the road, isn't new it? suspension, new everything, you know? Yeah. Do, yeah. You, do you sell them? Uh, not really. I mean, yeah, it's... Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere down the line, somebody be like, "Hey, you want to sell your car?" And the offer is there, I'll do it. But I usually, yeah. I usually don't sell it, you know. Yeah. Well, I saw the last one, the blue one. I don't know if you've seen the blue one. Seems I probably did. Yeah, but I saw the blue one. Yeah. Probably this one right here. Now it's just way, way too much work, man. Yeah. Way too much money in this one right here, you know. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, so... How, how long do you think before it's done? This one? Uh... I gotta have it done by uh, May. Oh, that's that's sick. yeah. Um, I gotta got a car show in California that I wanna make it to, you know. Yeah. So that's kind of the plan. But do you win money and stuff at those? Or do uh, sometimes, you know. You just do it for a hobby yeah. or you know things like that. Not for, not for uh, to try to flip it because you don't make money back on this, especially yeah. on import, you know. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a work in progress, you know? Yeah, Just working on it, you know? It's gonna look sharp. Yeah. You do a good job. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Thanks, you know? Yeah, Alright, thanks, man. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Is this kid allowed in or not? No, he's not allowed in our garage, you know? Because nope. I don't know what your parents and stuff, and, you know? Then I get over here. Don't stay on the street. <laughs> stay over here with the laptop, Vasile. Where are you going? Huh? Didn't even think about it. That I left uh, trash in the bag in the garage. My wife is sleeping, so I had to run some errands. Now let this fool here in the garage. And he gets in the freaking trash and digs all the way through and all these burgers and Taco Bell the kids did not want to eat and guess what this fool here got into it and ate it and you looking at me yes you you uh, yeah you looking at me huh yeah don't you even be shaking that tail at me right now cuz I'm not in the mood for this I feel like at times you just pissing me off. You just have another way of getting to me, just like this car right here. Yeah, you know I'm talking to you. And I know some of these people out there that own dogs, they'll probably have this stuck at some point with their dog or their cat or their monkey or their whatever pet you may have. Because I'm over this duck sometimes. What you looking at? Enough about this fool. So, uh, today 
Uh, I mentioned it earlier. I disassembled the the front uh, subframe, and um, I'm gonna pressure wash it, get all the grease off, get everything off. Same thing with that. Same thing with this right here. Same thing with that. Kind of clean it up real good, get everything off, and then paint it black, lift this silver. I got new bushings. I got new auto tie rods for my K tune. And uh, also, I I don't know. I didn't even think I did, but uh, I uh, removed the old mount, which I threw it away. Which the old mount was right here. Okay, the old mount. What it is, man. I should have just taken a video, but. Uh, what it is, it's usually got a rubber seal all the way around and it's got two metals on the edge and it's got the shaft that goes through it. So pretty much how I do this, I take a, um, I take a sawzall and I actually use a wooden blade, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Some of you are like, man, you ghetto, bro. You just, you didn't even show us. Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it, so. So I have a wooden blade. Uh, I don't know, I think that it works better for me because it's smaller and skinnier. But you pretty much you take your Saza and you just all the way around. Once you do that, then you get, you take your, and that's it, it's cut out. And then what I use next, I use a wire brush. Put this back over here. I take a wire brush on the drill with the wire brush and go and clean it all up and you can kind of tell how it looks all right and then what you have next is this right here okay so what i do i put it on the vise put it on the vise like that and i take my saws up cut it all out clean it up then you're gonna paint it once you put it on the car before you put it on the car you paint it this is the energy bushings. I had those on all my cars and I love them. Uh, they make a lot of companies. They make a lot of the stiff uh, trailing arm steel that actually is too stiff. And uh, I don't know, it's, you don't really want it that stiff, especially if you drive it on the street because you want a little bit of, a little bit of roll with the body. But uh, anyway, so, and it's cheaper too as well. So it's not really always what's billet and what's cool. It's best as well, so. You know what I'm saying? So we got those, and those are gonna go on. You know, I got the press right there, so I'm just gonna press them in. So maybe I'll just uh, press them in, get the uh, uh, grease on there, and then uh, and then wash it, and then tape off the uh, the molding, the seal, and then um, paint it. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready and press those in right now. So I got this thing right here. So, I'll go ahead and set my, this thing on my head, so that way you can kind of see. I'm just, I'm just so irritated with this fool right here. What do you think you're doing? Huh? What do you think you're doing? Yeah, don't you even think about kissing me right now. You know what you did. You know what you did. Yeah, yeah, I know. You, you, you know what you did. What, are you trying to say something? Are you trying to say something? Because I'm definitely saying something. When am I just losing my mind? I feel like I'm talking to a human being, but no, you're not a human being. You are a dog. You know, dog. You're not like my really, like my dog right now. You're not even my dog right now. I mean, you think like, is this fool ever gonna be done talking? No, fool. What? Yeah, better put that leg up. Yeah, you better put that leg up. You know who the boss up in here? Huh? You know who the boss up in here? <laughs> you keep licking your lips at me. Don't even think about it. I don't want you kiss right now. You punk. Got in the trash. Yeah, you Taco Bell. You ate McDonald's. You had some Arby's? What else did you have in there, huh? What else you, you what else you have in your belly, huh? What, what else you got in there? Please tell me. You punk. Ah. Sorry, guys. I figured I had a moment with this fool. 
Okay, so this is the energy bushes right here. And then uh, they also have grease. So make sure you grease it up when you put it in. It comes with the grease. Uh, well, I thought it come with the grease. Or did I pop them out somewhere? Oh yeah, there you go. It was right here. Yeah. So. I don't know what's in this. They show you over here, maybe to install it. Oh yeah, see? That's some other chingaletta bushings. Anyways, but... Energy bushings, yeah? You probably want the letters to be on the outside. It looks kind of cool. Sometimes if you do a good job with this, you might be able even to like knock them in. Like one hammer and bam. You know, watch this. I'll put a little bit of grease right here. I'll show you guys. Uh, I should probably just paint that first, to be honest. So I'm probably going to paint that first before I pop this sucker in, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I might just do that. So uh, hang tight. I'm going to decrease all this stuff. And then... Uh, and then I'm gonna paint it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in. What you looking at? Keep your tail down. Talking to you. Hey. No. What do I'm talking to you? Don't be checking your tail at me right now. I'm not in your mood right now. I'm not in a mood for you right now. What you looking at me, dog? Huh? Sorry, guys. I'm tripping right now. This dog is killing me. Maybe too much car stuff. So we wait for the same. This is an awesome song. Golly, I love this song. That gets the glory, call me crazy. Love this song. And that's how you do it. After a bunch of stress, we got it in. And now we're just gonna get ready for paint. So, as you can see what we got here is the 550. It's a engine uh, high temp paint. As you can tell, I sprayed some of this already. The, this is really strong, actually. It's also more, it's almost like a powder coat. So, if you have used this before, this is actually like really, really thick and strong. So, you know, just gonna take your time with it, you know. Yeah, buddy. That's what's up. This should be done right here. I hit it two coats, rack and pinion, sway arm, lower control arms. Yeah, buddy. Nice. See that? Nice and fresh. That's what's up. Let it dry. Put this one in the car. This will be the first one to go in the car. I think you can put the sway bar. That goes on the bottom, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, it goes on the bottom. So I can put this up. And I can put that up. I can put this up. I can't put this up because I don't have the, I ordered the, the hooks for that. But I can definitely start working on that. Yeah, buddy. I gotta paint the calipers, that's what I need to do, yep. All right, guys, well, I got some of this thing, I'll say powder coated, not quite powder coated, but I used a high heat uh, paint and everything is pretty much dry to the touch. You know, I got my uh, bushing, synergy bushing pressed in. Kind of see how it looks right there. Make sure you always grease them up because the grease is actually going to help you not tear them up and they're not going to squeak and they're actually going to do the job. And uh, yeah, got my rack and pin all torn apart. Got it all painted, got it all cleaned up as you can tell. Self frame, same thing, all painted, all cleaned up. Everything's going to hopefully I get all this in today, you know, getting the uh, steps of getting closer, you know, and maybe start working on the brick duck. You know what I mean? One step every day. Yeah, buddy. Come on with it.